Welcome, everyone, and thanks for coming. This crowd is almost as fired up as we are to get this party started. Almost. There's no doubt this is one of the most exciting lineups we've had in a month of Sunday, so stay tuned. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. Don't change that dial. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have a real fan favorite against Edge. Who will reign supreme? Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode making his way to the ring now. In all his gloriousness, Cole. Corey, what should we expect from him here tonight? I expect him to come out of the gate hot, Cole. From what I've been told, he's been really concentrating on getting the advantage early. But of course, that's easier said than done. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. I gotta say, guys, he doesn't appear to be in the mood here tonight. He's not the only one, Cole. I gotta say, I'm not really in the mood to be sitting next to you two. But hey, we do what we have to do. Ooh. 
It's go time, fellas. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Here we go, guys, and I'd say Sunrise Florida is in for one heck of a match here. He hits the big knee. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. That was simply unadulterated power. He's taking some offense. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Look at Edge here. Going for the double play with this move. DDT! Here's a chance to win this. He's on his heels. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. Spear! Can he end it here? If that doesn't... Will this be enough? Believe it, the match is over. Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, a hard fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. His opponent, sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here. Next. Next. Oh, I cannot wait. Introducing the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Well, she certainly has her work cut out for her, and Byron, tell me, what do you think of her chances here tonight? Well, given how dominant the champs looked as of late, I have to say that I'm not wild about her chances here tonight. But hey, crazier things have happened.
And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Asuka! Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. And I'd say she's never looked more determined to walk out of a match victorious than she looks right now. She definitely looks determined, Michael, but so does the opposition. I guess something's going to have to give. And introducing the challenger from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. How about you, Byron? Do you think the challenger has a legitimate chance here tonight? Of course I do, Michael. That's the beauty of the WWE. Any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. And we're ready to go, folks. Hey, when this match is said and done, we might very well be talking about its match of the year candidacy. Here we go, guys. And I'd say Sunrise Florida is in for one heck of a match here. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. An impressive backbreaker there. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Can you believe it? Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Asuka looking uneasy now. She's not going to let her title slip away that easily, though. It's been quite the back-and-forth battle for these women, guys, and I'm willing to bet that's the way it's going to be the rest of the way. Direct hit! What a clothesline. Back in from the apron. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Flawless belly to back suplex. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. She might have it. Wow, fantastic ability 
from Ember Moon. That changes the entire complexion of this match. Now that's a show of athleticism. She's calling for it. She's looking. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. She has got to take advantage here. Nikki Cross is in trouble. She can end it here. The pin's broken up. She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. Will this be enough? And she gets her shoulder up. Just needs to do more damage. Can she do it here? The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. Nothing gentle about that landing. She drops her with a clothesline. Right above the nose, it looks like. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet, guys. Well, she's absorbed a lot of punishment so far tonight. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. The challenge, here's the pin. Title on the line. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. And she's still not moving. I don't think she can recover from this, Cole. Look at her here. She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Watch out. Wow, what a slam. Don't let the beauty fool you. She has power. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. I think we know what... There's no recovering from that. There is no coming back from that one. Asuka's just getting overwhelmed. She's going for the cover. The champ kicks out at two and a half. Asuka always does her Japanese ancestors proud. That shot landed on her and was a direct hit. Well, those kind of acrobatics will keep the eyes of the WWE Universe on you at all times. Connects with a counter. Quickly into the cover with a title on the line. No, that may be the closest I've seen a referee's hand come to hitting three. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. She is on fire. Having a tough time getting back up here. As you would expect, given what she's been through here tonight. Nobody wants to face Asuka when she's rolling. I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used at any moment here. That strike was strategically placed on her opponent. She wants it one more time. Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. Here's her chance. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself in. She took a risk on that one. The challenger simply will not be denied. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. The way I see it, this might be a good time for the finisher. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she shoulders down. Championship on the line. There's the pinfall and the victory.
corner, and the new NXT Women's Champion, Nikki Cross. And that's a win to start off the night. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next, we have the authors of pain taking on sanity. This is for all the marbles. Here we go. Look out, here comes Eric Young. Look out is right, Cole. Eric Young brings with him a special brand of chaos everywhere he goes.
And guys, we're ready to get this match started. So much on the line in this championship match tonight, guys. No doubt about that neck breaker. Sharp pain in my neck just watching that neck breaker. The challenger is taking on some offense. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself or does he attempt to make a tag here? Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point. Death Valley driver. He's in control now. He's calling for it. Eric Young setting him up. The sit-out pile driver. There it is. Cole, I think we all just witnessed the art of shredding a rival to pieces. Here we go for the win. Two, three. A win like that says a lot about a duo. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It's the Outsiders versus the Natural Disasters. Big time matchup. to the ring at a combined weight of 608 pounds Kevin Nash and Scott Hall the Outsiders Kevin Nash making his way to the ring with a purpose and I think we all know what that purpose is unfortunately for his opposition
combined weight of 852 pounds, earthquake and typhoon, the natural disasters. Earthquake looking bigger than ever here tonight. But you know what they say, Michael, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And better than 460 pounds, there's a reason they call them Earthquake, folks. Hang on. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. A concerned look on the face of Earthquake. Well, what's your take right now on Kevin Nash? How do you see him getting it done here tonight? What we can expect at this point is really anyone's guess. Here in the early going, he's got a spring in his step and some fire in his eyes. We'll see if that translates to a victory. Now we have Kevin Nash on the attack. Check him after that neck breaker. Oh, that was a hard shot. What a strike. Kevin, the colossal boot. Jeez, I don't like Typhoon's chances in this one. Check out Scott Hall's offense. Look at this, right to the body. Momentum not on Typhoon's side here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. He clearly did his homework heading into tonight. Comes in off the tag. Ain't no stopping him now. Scott Hall turns it around. Oh, choke slam. It, is that it? Is it over? Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Scott Hall has got it right where he wants him. Up and down. One more for the bad guy. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That'll readjust your spine. He's playing with him now. He might have it. Jackknife! Here's his moment, Michael. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Here he goes for the win! What a tag team display.
Kevin Nash closes the door for the team. That's a big win any day of the week, on any show, in any arena, Michael. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have The Rock versus Eddie Guerrero. You don't want to miss it. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And would you agree, Corey, that this match will be anything but easy for him? This is the WWE, Cole. There's no such thing as easy matches here. You know that. And his opponent, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. Well, the referee better be on his game tonight, especially considering who's walking to the ring right now. Hey, at least Eddie's up front about his lying, cheating, and stealing. And I'd add that he certainly has his work cut out for him here tonight. Would you agree, Byron? Yeah, this isn't going to be easy for him, that's for sure. But he knew that when he signed up for this match. And we're ready to go, folks. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. And Byron, by the sound of this crowd, it seems almost as if all of Broward County has somehow jammed themselves into this arena. Oh, yeah, here's The Rock. The Rock 
going to work now. I think we got a moment here, and for The Rock, what can you tell us? Tell us, what do you think we can anticipate seeing from him in this one? Trust me, Michael Cole, there's more than enough time, no matter what instrument you're using to track it, for the Brahma Bull to layeth the smacketh down in there. We just have to see if the people's champ can put boots to asses tonight. Well, in the WWE, nobody cares about how close you came to greatness, just if you got there. Oh, earth-shattering spine buster. Here's his chance. This night could be over for Eddie Guerrero. Rock bottom. That almost came out of nowhere. Looking for the quick pin. Kick out at the last moment. Nice kick out there. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. The Rock gets inside his opponent's heads better than anybody in the business. The offense of The Rock is working well right now. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Connects with a counter. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. Here comes the rock. His clothesline finds the mark. Back now inside the ring. Neutralizes him with an elbow. The People's Champ! Are you ready for the most electrifying move in all of entertainment? The People's Elbow! This one is open. It could be over here. One, two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, The Rock! Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have Steve Austin against Shawn Michaels. Who will reign supreme? Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here.
And on top of that, this match will undoubtedly have a big impact on where these guys stand in the next WWE.com power rankings. And there's been so much upward movement from new faces over the past few weeks that dropping more than 10 spots following a loss isn't necessarily out of the question. from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. HBK looking incredibly motivated here tonight. Yeah, you can tell he is in the zone. Some are saying he's in the best shape of his career right now. Would you agree with that, Corey? It's hard not to agree with that statement, Cole. I mean, just look at him. I'll tell you, he's going to be tough to beat, that's for sure. Okay, let's get this match going. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Here we go, guys. And I'd say Sunrise Florida is in for one heck of a match here. Talk about planning your opponent. Guys, I want to discuss Steve Austin for a moment. As we get underway, what can the WWE Universe expect from this guy? The thing about Steve Austin is that he doesn't trust anybody, and rightfully so. The moment you let your guard down in this business is the moment you get stabbed in the back. All I can say is he definitely looks the part, and sometimes that helps, believe it or not. Austin not in a good place right now. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. The sharpshooter cinched in. Here's his chance. Things just went from bad to worse for Steve Austin. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, what's Shawn Michaels getting ready to do here? Incoming. That lands. Just making his presence felt there. Missed by a large margin on that one. Wow, he's better than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. If this continues, we could be talking about something no one wants to discuss. Facial reconstructive surgery. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. And Steve Austin makes him pay for all that. But I'm not so sure that's enough to put Austin away. The pinball and the victory. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! 
kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. Well, things are about to get interesting. I'm sure the WWE Universe is dying to know what's going on. Very well put. Promo's over. I guess it's time to wake up. Check your pulse, everybody. That thing may have killed you with boredom. Not exactly.